Well, hi everybody. I think we're uh, we're up and running here. Uh, and uh, let me see here. There we go. Let me see here. Is that up and running? Yeah, it looks like it. Let me uh, let me just check over here to make sure we're up and running. Uh, yeah, and we're recording and we're doing all the stuff we should be doing. So, okay, there we go. Hey, hi everybody. Uh, this is um, our little Monday pop-up show. We just do this for the fun of it and uh, hope you enjoy it. Oh, I left my soda in another room. Oh, well, if I get thirsty, I'll run out of here and go get it. Mm. Ah, well, let me see here. we got a ton of people waiting for us, so let's check in with them. And finally, there's Steve Bender and uh, um, um, Mr. Chisholm there from... Uh, Canada and Steve, uh, let's see, Edward Berger, Rick Sheckman, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, Scott Boddicker. Hello, Scott. Hello, Charlie Wallace. Hello, Brian Neary. Hello, Leonard Lofrisco. And hello, Andrew Deutsch. Boy, wow, we got a lot of people <laughs> early here, like oh, almost uh, one more, and we'll have 12 people. Yeah. And we can play Hollywood Squares. And we can play Hollywood <laughs> Squares. That's right. I, I was mentioning to Shecky earlier today that it would not be a bad idea if they did Hollywood Squares as a Zoom. You know, it would work, right? Yeah. You know, it's a great idea. Yeah. It, it, except, does everybody show up in the same place? Though is the question. Yeah, everybody does. No, except for me. I'm I'm over all the way to the left. Uh, You're in the Rosemary position. <laughs> what's the Rosemary <laughs> position? Next to. Wally Cox. Where's Wally Cox? <laughs> he was in the corner. The far left. Mm. So I'm in the middle where you are, right? Because oh, I think right. everywhere, like if people are watching us online right now, uh, I'm all the way over to the right, left. Okay. But I'm in the middle here, top middle. Now, you know, in Hollywood Squares, they always put, quote, the locks in the bottom center position because no one would ever call on them the locks <laughs> like the person who was like a semi-star they didn't want to be well, called on. Take the person in the center wouldn't you want the center square no that's paul lind oh or, yeah, yeah. Oh, no but the, i'm talking about below where paul lind was oh okay is that that was the least asked for right yeah so yeah play tic-tac-toe think about it you would yeah. never go to that spot right right okay all right oh wait a minute oh hey mandy's calling too mandy is now going to add to the uh add to the uh the group here i'm sure she's in her office there she is turn yourself sideways there there we go okay okay there's mandy hi mandy hi <laughs> there we go i was waiting waiting for you to let me in yeah. My conservative friend wants to come down here and cause trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, really? I was just egging him on. I said, would you like to come to the dark side? We will be bashing <laughs> Republicans, I'm sure. Come on down and join us. <laughs> make sure, but make no, sure he he's doesn't. He's definitely not. I mean, he's like, they all should have been shot. I don't, think, I don't think we have to uh, do any bashing of the Republicans. They pretty well bash themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, hey. The, Hey, think, there's Marjorie. Think, hey, Marjorie. Now, guess what we did today? Tell them, Marjorie. Do. You, you got your shot. What did we do? You voted. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're close. You're close because we we're, we're going to where we voted. We went to, we're going to the exact same place we voted. Now, is that a hint? Early got voted. Vaccinated. Huh? <laughs> Got vaccinated. Got vaccinated. Right. Jeffrey's got, got it. Really? On, the, got on the 20th, we are signed up. To get vaccinated at one ten wow. in the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, good to you. Hey, hold on, to... hold on. I want to see if your tracking chip is activated. Just a second. Because <laughs> <laughs> here you're in New day. York. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it, it you know, uh, uh, and then you then what happens after you get it? It's like if it's the Moderna or either one. It's like. Uh, Something like uh, two weeks before it becomes effective, 
And then, and then you get the second booster. Yeah, you get the, get the second booster. One. I think we're probably going to be getting the Moderna where we're going. So, we're yeah. not in a hospital. We're going to like a gymnasium. We're going to a gymnasium. In a school. So, and after we signed up, we went through all this trouble because getting it through the city of New York just takes forever. It just was agonizing. In fact, they had this group of questions they'd ask you in which all your answers basically would be no, because you're not a medical worker, you're not a this, you're not a that, but you are 75, so you would answer yes, by hitting, but you had to answer all the no's first before you got to that one and I could answer yes, or they could have just had <laughs> yes, and the option would be that if you didn't push yes, it was no. But no, they, they made it that complicated. That's the government for you. Yeah. Make sure you're reading it. They want to make sure you're reading the questions. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was a pain in the ass. But anyway, so we go through all of this. And then finally, Marjorie gets hers online because we want to sign up at the same time so we can get the same time, right? And so we both sign up and we finally got it. This She was up at 3.15 this morning. By the time we got it done was noon. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't sleep, so I was up early. So I went on and I was filling Alex's out at the same time. I was filling me out and it got so yeah. confusing. And, and then, yeah. then at, at about 15 minutes after that, I get an email from Mount Sinai saying, you want a vaccination? <laughs> so we, but we stayed with the one we have, but you know, and plus we're I'm one day- driving up to the Bronx next week, my friend Franny. Yeah, when we were gonna sign up. Who the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> when we we're going to sign up, uh, the first date we got on this thing was the 20th, and they were only like about three days, and then they stopped. The day inauguration. Huh? Yeah. We're doing it on inauguration day. <laughs> and and um, so uh, then I, uh, Shecky was with me when I went through the Mount Sinai thing, and I said, oh, God, it's a, oh, I have to keep going. Oh, okay. The 26th is the first, uh, the 22nd is the first date they have. But it was only like five questions. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> yeah, it was only like five questions. Then I uh, uh, then I went back a couple, about an hour later. The earliest time was the 26th. I bet if I went on now, we're well into March. Yeah, easily. But, but also, is it a difference of where you're taking it? Because it feels yes. safer going to the gym instead of going to the hospital, right? Well, my girlfriend's driving up to the Bronx. I said, what are you crazy? Well, I don't think there's any, there for a shot. I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist to give a vaccination. So uh, no, I assume. No, 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 no. But it, the neighborhood it, is not the best. What oh, neighborhood? We still have a country the Bronx. on the <laughs> Oh, no, no. We weren't going to go to the Bronx. We were going to go to Guggenheim Plaza. No, Franny, Fifth my Avenue. friend, is going up. Yeah, but I'm not week. talking about that. He's just saying that going to this gymnasium is probably better than going to the hospital where all the germs show up. Yeah. You know. <laughs> So uh, anyway, so uh, I hope it works out okay, you know. Um, but still, after it's all over, you still don't want to go out and take any chances because you have about a, after the first shot, fifty-two percent chance, I think, of getting of not. Alex, getting. who hasn't been out of the house in at least two weeks. Well, I have I a good seventy-five percent. Yeah, yeah, higher. <laughs> what? I heard 70, the first shot gives you 75%. Really? I looked it up. It gives you 95. Yeah. 95, yes. Okay, the big question, are you going to live feed? No, 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 no. <laughs> do it, do it. Come do on, it. do a live show. We could all be on here. Citizen yeah. panel and all. I agree. Well, um, what I should do, I should, yeah, I should... Um, I, I, wonder let me, I wonder if they'll let me. Well, you recorded when we were standing in line for the voting. Oh, yeah. No, but outside, not right. in. Well, they were. But I'd like to. I'd like to be able to get a, a shot of me getting the shot. Um, well, tell yeah. me you're a politician, and you'll be yeah. more than welcome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Tell me you're I'll, 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 I'll take a picture of you. Yeah. But so I'm. Uh, it's on the twentieth at one ten, which means I'm going to miss the next riots. We're going to miss the inaugurations. <laughs> There'll be a couple. The riots there. are going to start on the 17th. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm yeah. glad they're, they're going to every start. state. They're yeah, going to every state. Of good days of rioting. Well, not to get political once more, my stockbroker called me today and said he had 10 calls from clients that Trump is going to declare martial law over the weekend. 
I don't believe it. <laughs> That's what he told me. Good brother. Listen, you know, at this point, I'll believe anything. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know he didn't hear it on Parlor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Amazon now, because how dare you take away What happens services? if people don't go along with martial law? Well, they like won't. if nobody goes along with it, it's just, it is, it's actually he says it and it's like crickets. It's <laughs> Gary Marshall Law. Happy <laughs> 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 days. Yeah. Technically, Marshall. they can shoot you the on sight. Civil War is uh, coming. Yeah, it's Gary Marshall Law. He's going really... to send out uh, who are those two girls? Uh, Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. I think I think General Milley is already on record saying he would not follow. By the way. <laughs> by, by the way do you really feel you have confidence in somebody named General Milley? <laughs> yes. <laughs> General Mills. The irony, no, the irony, him, Alex. Of, Donald Trump. What? Yeah. The irony of the year was the woman with the don't tread on me was trampled. <laughs> the flag. Sorry if it's morbid, but if that doesn't Armo. exemplify the entire day, <laughs> nothing else ever will. Did you, Did you see the guy that? wearing the T-shirt? Six million, not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Guys, uh, we don't usually get serious on the show, and I don't think we've been serious yet, even about this subject. Okay, no, sorry. can I say not joking, but kind of lighthearted? Yeah, well, yeah. lighthearted. You see, I mean, the thing is that this happened last week and it's the only it's the one thing everybody kind of has to talk about i mean it it's just it's uh, major alex yeah mm -hmm. they tried to overthrow the fucking government exactly. <laughs> and and they tried to kill the vice president and the speaker of yeah, the house yeah, that was exactly they were building a gallows a nice stuff. book you but know. you know, since they weren't going to lynch, you know, black people, we they weren't so concerned about the whole lynching thing. Yeah, right, right. It's ridiculous. Uh, but uh, monsters. Yeah. How'd you feel about it down there, Mandy, in Georgia, who saved our ass? <laughs> yes, uh, it was such a good night, and then um, the next day, you know, then all hell broke loose. So ugh. it's kind of like we couldn't really be happy. Yeah. Well, I like all those day. people who went, thank God 2020 is gone. Welcome <laughs> 2021. What could happen? Yeah. Well, we were off to a good start. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the Jew, the joke, a Jew and a black guy walked I think we're going to change Georgia it from bar. We're still, we're and the bartender said to them, hi, senators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but it, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, just talk to each other. Marjorie, lead the discussion. Somebody lead the discussion. We're just saying, I got to go get my soda because I need, and I need some. I'm not a discussion leader. Well, I'll say that. <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question? Here, here, hold on. I'll, I'll go in the I'm kitchen. I'm a for follower. You. Can I, can I ask a question? I'll get you a soda. Here you go. <laughs> You're so quick. What, what kind of soda? We're laughing about you. Are you guys? You rather ice cream? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Get you something. There. <laughs> I like that. You know, let's go out to the lobby. <laughs> That's what I need is a popcorn machine. I don't have one. Yeah, we should have pants on today, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I, mean, uh, I guess I, I don't have to ask you people what you what you felt when you saw this whole thing going on in Washington. But it's scary. Like, you go. I thought it was know, very go, scary. This is every oh, right. every every bad movie I've ever seen about the takeover yeah. of the country. You know, down to a guy wearing horns on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Can I wonder I how that's going to do on lockup. I don't think they let him bring the horns in. <laughs> no. Now, is he the guy who brought his mother to work with him that day? I don't the horn know. guy? Because somebody brought he his lives mother. With his mother. Speaking of mothers, let me mention something. I don't want to get depressing here. Okay. But uh, today, Tony lost his mother. Oh, oh my God. To uh, to COVID. That's it. Yeah, to COVID. To COVID? Oh. Yeah. That's sad. That's and sad. and uh, it's uh, it, it's very sad because uh, you know uh, I I think the world of Tony and and I know how much he loved his mother and on top of that she was an income to him too you know uh, and uh, she uh, 
Uh, well, he's not going to tell anyone she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just announced it on Facebook. It's the new version Tony, of we didn't say his last name. He's still safe. <laughs> the new version of Psycho. You know, he's going to either have a dummy or something, and then he's going to say, yeah, she's still alive, uh, and uh, have him come to visit. He'll be known to talk with her at night. <laughs> yeah, no, but he, he really is, he's very distraught, you know. And, uh, Sad. Uh, Jeez, he just lost his dad last year. Lost his dad yeah. last year, yeah. yeah. And the stupid part is he lost yeah. her this time to COVID, right? Yeah. His dad? Because one no. of the kids brought it into the house. Yeah. Oh, the mother. <clears throat> we <laughs> assume she brought it into the house. I don't want to blame her. Yeah, she, but... she she's a teacher. She, you know, And the thing is, I think what happens is, and, and Brian, you can probably attest to this because you know a lot about this subject, but the problem is, is that she probably came into the house quite innocently to take care yeah. of mom and didn't wear a mask because home was a place she felt safe. Yeah, it just takes one. Yeah, I, I've been back and forth with Tony a lot lately, and then all this stuff happens. So you, him and I are back and forth. But I mean, it's the typical scenario, right? It, it's you have a group of people mm -hmm. and somebody comes in with it. And that group of people has some people that are vulnerable, you know, their age or you know, something else going on with their bodies and then it takes one out and that it does it to family after family after family. And that's, that's the sad thing about it. Yeah. And I, her health was compromised to begin with. Yeah. You know, and well, that's, and, that's the scenario. And they sent her home from the hospital. They did. Yeah. 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 And then she yeah. just started going delusional and everything else and just got worse and worse. And he had to send for an ambulance. They sent him back, sent her back to the hospital. They said, she's dying and you can't come in and see me, see her. They oh. They, no, they did see her on Sunday, right before mm -hmm. she, you know, and yeah, then they yeah. sent them home. Because it, it was a medical facility, right? It wasn't like a big hospital. I think it was a private medical facility. Have you, you ever spoken to the mom? For one. I've is never talked to the mother. She's just always been kind of like uh, a, a vacant uh, uh specter over our programs, you know. Oh, okay. He's always if you want, we can, we, can, we can hold a ceremony if you... No. I met her once. Nice woman, you know. Yeah, she's. Uh, uh, you, you did meet her, okay? Nope. Yeah, one time when Tony and I were going to a <laughs> show, I drove over there to pick him up. I mean, I don't feel sorry for her because I didn't know her, but I do feel sorry for him because I know how much how close yeah. he was to his mother. And yeah. He was her caregiver, and the one thing he said to me was, "I failed her," and I wrote him. Oh. And I said, "No, he didn't. No, the sister did." Huh? But no, the sister didn't. It's, no, it, it's the virus. You know, it, this yeah. virus is just something. Oh, no, Donald Trump did. There wouldn't be any virus <laughs> now if it wasn't for him. Well, there'd be a virus, but it would be. But, I mean, it wouldn't be like this. It would have been challenged in November when we first knew there was something going on in China. Yeah. 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 It, and, and could have been contained this, and we could have know, used. You know what's yeah. interesting? China didn't get it as bad as we did, did they? No, they lied about it. They had a lot more death than they told us they were but, coming out but, now. But Asia was in complete lockdown. I mean, yeah. they, those guys were locked down and people have been there before, you know, where they were masks all the time anyway. So converting to now you're locked down. And when they had that other spurt, they had everybody tested right away. Well, whole, also, also, you got to remember that that Asia is the home of every single flu. I mean, it comes from there. In fact, they say we blow up all those countries and then we'll never get the flu again. <laughs> well, they, have, they all have those wet markets. Well, no, it, they, isn't the, it isn't the wet markets. It is market. the wet markets. No, no, it is just that uh, it, it all, the reason we know how to give a flu shot every year is because we know what strains are happening because they're in Asia. And so we just get it, get it all down in advance. And it, it does come out of farms and things like that. You know, sometimes and bats. Sometimes it's bats. Sometimes it's pigs. Sometimes it's uh, one of the Trumps. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Did you see today? I read that the, you know it's already spreading from the Capitol case. Um, the New Jersey Congresswoman who had a yes. hundred down with Republicans who refused to wear masks. who refused to wear a mask when they and were hundred down. She had lung cancer before this. She's seventy-five years old, and now she's got oh, it dear. because the senators weren't wearing would refuse to wear masks. Oh boy. Unbelievable. It's just, it, yeah. it's just, it's terrible. It's all very, very, uh, uh, let's not get depressed here. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's sing God Bless America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Edward Burgers with this, while we can. Uh, Edward Burgers with this, ladies and gentlemen, the voice that launched a thousand ships. That's right. <laughs>
In two I Popeye swear, episodes. I swear, the rest of the time he probably talks like this a lot. But then he <laughs> and goes, well, hello, everybody. <laughs> By the way, Shecky, I was watching yeah. something last night. You know, sometimes there's performers that you forget about. And I found a thing on YouTube, and it was one of Jimmy Durante's Colgate Comedy Hours on YouTube with Frank Sinatra. Yeah. And I started watching it, and I went, Durante was terrific. Oh, Durante yeah. was great yeah. talent. Yeah. How many here know what, what we're talking about? Yeah. And I thought he was terrific. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was he was funny. He could play the piano. He could dance. He had his his partner from the old act. It was well, Jackson Clayton and Durante. You yeah. know the trio. Yeah. And uh, uh, just absolutely entertaining. 1950s show, you know, and I was just amazed at how good he was. I had forgotten. Oh no, he was very good. I remember my father met up with Durante once. Oh. My father had a big, big nose. Okay, and he met up with my father. I guess they were playing a gig together or something. And he looked at my father and went, "I'm jealous." <laughs> <laughs> And Durante apparently was a very nice man. I would imagine. He seems like it. Just an unforgettable character. You see him once on TV when you're a kid and you never forget him. Never. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Shiki knows the answer to this question, but do you guys know the answer to this question? He worked as a comedy team in movies with who? Gary Moore. No. Oh. No, he did on radio. Right. radio. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm talking about movies. Oh, movies. They okay. made several radio, movies yeah, as a more. team. And Before my didn't, time. It didn't. It, wasn't it with Bennett Schwartzman? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. Mm -mm. He helped ruin this man's career for a couple of years. Well, I don't know if he helped ruin it. It was MGM, the well, two man, of them together. It was because they, off. They, they had them both under contract, and uh, one of them they didn't know what to do with. Yeah. And he overwhelmed the other performer. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, because nobody's getting it. Buster uh, Keaton. Mm. Buster wow. Keaton. Wow. How many movies they do together? Do you remember? I think four. Yeah. Or, what No Beer, and I can't think of the other names right now. I can't, but I can't understand what movie executive, and these people are highly paid to do their job. MGM never made good comedies, so they didn't know what they blank they were doing. Really? Okay, so they said, we got a comedian here, and we got a comedian here, and eh, let's put them together. That yeah. couldn't hurt. They're both great comics, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in, it's a mad, 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 mad world, right? A lot, a lot of those old... Yeah. Comics run that movie. Really yeah, good. yeah. yeah. He, Everybody he, he's the that. one that does the visual gag where he dies at the beginning of the picture and under the double double W tree or whatever that was. No, no, yeah. that, that was later on, but in the beginning of the film, his car goes off a cliff and they run down to see him, and you know he's the one that says, "Look for the big W or whatever," yeah. and then he goes, uh, and there's a bucket and he kicks it. <laughs> <laughs> The only good gag in that entire stupid film. <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> Three and a half hours of absolute <laughs> comedy drudgery. Uh, and how many times did you watch it? <laughs> I've only watched it all the way through once, and that's when I watched it in Cinerama in L.A. I thought in Cinerama back in 63. Right. Yeah. And it wasn't really Cinerama. It was uh, Super Panavision, and then they spread it out over the Cinerama screen. Did you ever see that movie that Waters made that, with Odorama, Polyester? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they give you the scratch and sniff card at the movie theater? Right. And they were <laughs> terrible smell. Really? They were it was hilarious. The first one yeah. smelled like flowers when they taught you how to use it, and then there was not... There was a fart, there was moldy socks, there was... <laughs> <laughs> I remember keeping that thing in my room as a kid for years with the, the awful smells on the scratch and sniff. Yeah. I wonder if anybody has those anymore. They're probably worth some money. Go to uh, eat. Hey, I'm sure you'll find one. Or Tony's selling it. <laughs> Tony's, Tony's got 10 of them. 
Yeah, Tony's got, he buys 10 of everything. Right. See, I mean, he, he learned the great lesson in life. There was once an episode of the, do you ever see Amazing Stories, that show that Spielberg sure. did years ago? And Love one that of them show. was about a guy who was played by Mark Hamill. And he, he just, everything he had, he didn't throw away because somebody said, don't ever throw anything away that you love. And so he became this hoarder and it just ruined his life. And he's a bum, but he's, get, he's dragging all his belongings with him. And one day somebody suddenly discovers all these belongings and things like Action Comics number one and another thing and this thing and that thing. And he, he's worth a million dollars. Uh, and it's just don't throw away anything you love. I wish I had bought two of everything I liked and put one in you plastic, know, plastic, and the other use and play with. But I didn't, you know. But, but just one Marjorie, right? Huh? <laughs> right. One Marjorie. I, I just collected one Marjorie, right? <laughs> you know, and and she's been my savior in this uh, in this uh, little debacle we've been going through because you know i mean we, we have each other you know and a lot of people don't have each other a lot of our girlfriends don't a lot have of my them. girlfriends are divorced or or like phyllis her husband's in a nursing home yeah yeah or today ben you sent me a photo of mandy well mandy girlfriend. mandy picked Andy's a great time to leave oh, mandy yeah. picked a great time to break up with her husband uh, <laughs> 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 your mic your microphone isn't on mandy uh I muted myself. Yeah. yeah, perfect timing, huh? Perfect. And timing. he has a girlfriend, so he's been... already. Oh, really? He oh. oh, he got a girlfriend Bobby three months later. Already. Yes. Wow. What did he do? Is he phone See, that's the thing. Man, Are man, you enjoying can't... COVID? Wait, Guess wait, what wait, we did wait, tonight. Wait. You the know. expression "women mourn, men replace." <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. It's true. It was like but two you... and a half months after I moved out. He got well, drunk. fuck him. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she's a nice lady, but. No, that's her job now, the girlfriend. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she did message me and say we had a lot in common. I'm like, no, pretty much just one thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, you were married how long? Uh, 27 years. 26 but yeah, 27 that, technically that, that, but it, moved out after 26 yeah I but i was with him for 32 years and you dated still, six years and so wow. you're, you're what you're in your early 50s right i'll be 55 in april okay you'd be 55 so mm -hmm. uh, you got married when you were how old 27 27 oh okay mm -hmm. but you know after being married that long i just don't know why well, look at Arthur. Well, that's what his argument was. Why do you, why do you want to go now? I'm like, might as well. well <laughs> I, was still now, I, still, I still got a chance. My, <laughs> right. friend Arthur, you know? my friend Arthur was in his late 70s when he divorced his second wife. Like, mm -hmm. why? Yeah. Well, and he's older than me. So he was, what, he'll be 57 this month. So he was 55, but his girlfriend just turned 50. So he got a, lo a younger chick. Well, uh, not that, me. you know, it's still well, you know, anything you know, over 50 is an older chick. I know, you know? but she was <laughs> 58. I, no, no offense, men there, Mandy, but over 50, you know. I, look, excuse me. <laughs> you know, I, I married a younger woman. She's 77 and I'm 81. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You did. Yeah. I never always went out with younger women again. Me too. Younger men. <laughs> Well, See, that's what I'm looking for. How'd you go Younger wrong dude. this time? <laughs> how'd you go wrong Chat this time? Chat privately, Mandy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just... deleted all my dating apps after like May because <laughs> COVID dating wasn't very yeah. convenient. Well, you know what? I, I figured, go on. I, figured so... I figured I would start a, a, a dating service uh, for women uh, and find guys who had already had COVID <laughs> and were, had, had antibodies okay and tested negative for covid and then i would just uh, you know they would go out and they could i could probably have made a fortune with that because there are women out there who are climbing the walls now you know because yeah. i mean Most really I mean, forget forget just about especially with women forget about the sex women just like to be held and touched and things like that right yeah you're so sensitive <laughs> oh. Well, if I could, hey. if I could provide that kind of companionship, 
I wouldn't know. Yeah, right. Okay, all the, all those years of Live 105, you would just settle for hugging and, and cuddling with somebody? <laughs> I'm on. not a woman, but they would have. <laughs> when you're older, you you realize that. But I remember, I think you used to say this back in the day, but the first the first marriage or the first serious person was lust and then love and then companionship, right? That, yeah, that kind of goes like that. And then more yeah. companionship. Sometimes you get married because this because of the sex. I'm number four. Now, now, it, it, to Mandy's credit, you waited till you were 27. But I was I dated him since I was 21. So, you know. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, you, you waited. You, you didn't jump into it immediately. No, he was. You know, he was almost 30, and he was like, "Oh, we need to wait. We need to make sure because we both came from divorced families. You know, we were really yeah. smart. Yeah. But just people change. I, I have to tell. I'm the one that true. And, and they change and not necessarily in the same yeah. time. And, I, and I have to, we were both responsible, but I probably am the one that changed more, you know. And well, I mean, we're, we're friends. I mean, we just were, yeah. became like we were just friends, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, what, what was terrible with, uh, I guess my, uh, the marriage I feel most guilty for is Ronnie. Uh, because she, uh, she married a guy who really, I had a I had a career going, but it wasn't anything. It wasn't off the charts or anything like that. And all of a sudden, after we got married, I started getting better and better jobs, and I started becoming more well known, and I started becoming more of a person, a well known personality. And so, and you started fucking around. Well, so, so the opportunity I mean, started. Like she don't mince any words there. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock, Chris well, like Rock. You don't hold back. The opportunities, yeah, the opportunities space, space. afford themselves. And I was like a kid who, you know, I never, I never figured anybody, any woman would want me. I would just, I was thankful for any woman who would. And then all of a sudden these women are starting to throw themselves at me. And I go, well, okay. You know, and it, it was a temptation and I had, I had low self-esteem and so it was. Not well, wait clear. a minute. Who she was? She was dating somebody. Uh huh. What was his name? That she Ronnie didn't... was having the affair with. No, no, no. She wasn't dating somebody. Later on, she had an affair with uh, with uh, Troy Donovan. <laughs> I lost her. Right I I can say I'm the only person who ever lost a wife to Troy Donnie. <laughs> And that's okay. That's fine. You know that. I thought you said Bill Donahue. Bill Donahue. So did I. <laughs> I was like, "What?" And at the Does time, at the that? time, here was what what makes it even worse. At the time, Troy was my best friend. So, yeah. Troy Donahue, you yeah. were friends with Troy Donahue. Yes, I was friends with Troy Donahue. Oh my wow. god! We used to get stoned together and then go on the Joe Franklin TV show here in New York, stoned out of our minds. <laughs> You just dropped a couple of notches. Yeah. <laughs> Troy Donahue? Troy Donahue. What's wrong with Troy Donahue? <laughs> or as he was known to us, Merle. Chris Rock says, "Your a man is only as faithful as his options. Now there's uh, there's yeah. Kathleen. You're yeah. still up in uh, Gualala? Nope. No, oh, you're back down in non-Gualala. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, where is that? Lala is where her father lives, and he has yeah. a beautiful home up there. It's a wonderful home. Um, California? Yeah, yeah. You know where? Don't you know where Lala is? It's on the coast, <laughs> right on the How coast. If you, if you go to this house, you can actually see the ocean from there. What Earth? area? It's, it's up the California? Mendocino coast, past Jenner. Oh, okay. Just oh, keep yeah. going up you Highway go, One. You go up Highway One. Uh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was one the of those Humboldt bears County? from Australia. I wish. Is that Humboldt County area? Yeah. Ah, good, good Humboldt County. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, uh, so you went up there for a cup for how long? A week or so? Uh, well, we're hauling the last of our stuff up right now. The house is pretty much empty except for the family room. Yeah. Um, and I'm going through the garage and giving away stuff. So yeah. hopefully, a couple more trips and and we'll be done. Now, are you going to sell the house you're in? Or are you going to rent it? Oh out? no. Uh. -uh. I'm gonna rent it out. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Is it all paid off by now? I guess it is. Almost. Almost. Because I remember when you started when you bought it. Yep. Yeah. You know, but uh, anyway. So um, um, and uh, let me see here. So let's see here. I brought up uh, Jimmy Durante. 
right? Because I knew I could get into a discussion with Rick on that. Uh, otherwise, uh, I, I've gotten to the point where I watch YouTube most of the time. When I got nothing to do, I just watch YouTube. Uh, there's so much hey, stuff there. You, Sean. Can yeah. I ask you a question? What? There's, there's a lot of New Yorkers on this, uh, on this show. Yeah. Uh, how many of you have watched the Fran Lebowitz show on Netflix so far? It, well, I heard about it. It's just just come out, so I, I was planning yeah. to watch it. Watch I'm the, three episodes in and totally engrossed. I really like yeah, it. It's on my list. Yeah, I watched the first two, and I thought it was fantastic. I can't wait yeah. to finish it up. Yeah, it's really good. She's a if very you want a good, just fluffy show, and this may be a woman thing, Bridgerton. I started I watching that I last night. It. I loved it. I loved it's it. It's just so pleasing yeah. to see. It, all it can the... definitely have a second season also. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I turned her on to uh, was Pennyworth. I love it. And she, for a year, I tried to get her to watch Pennyworth. And anytime I tried to describe it, I guess I unfortunately used the word Batman. <laughs> that and was that enough. Her off because it's the prequel to Batman. It's oh, it's all right. about Alfred, the Anywhere. you know the, where he came from, Alfred oh. anyway. And she started watch one episode. She, I love this. I love she it. Watched all, she watched all fourteen episodes that are out so far and said, and she still loves it. You know, I figured I by then, by now, she go, ah, eh, you know, she's already. No, 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 no. I love it. Brian, Brian and I are both watching a much higher class show, Warrior. Yeah, on HBO. What? Warrior. Warrior. It's an, old, it's an old script that Bruce Lee had started writing that someone adapted into this really violent uh, kung fu uh, uh, beginning, of, beginning of the Chinese in, in San Francisco building the railroad kind of thing. It's, and it's uh, got great soft porn. Very good. <laughs> Brian's been spending his watch, weekend watch putting his hand one. over his kid's where, eyes. Where is Which it? episode, Brian? Watch Max. episode one. Warrior. It's called Warrior. Watch episode one. It's on HBO Max. Oh, it's on HBO Max? I had oh, to I had, I had to have him cover and I had to mute because mute's <laughs> worse than the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know the old... Oh, movie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, you like Asian. Yeah, they watch that. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cinemax, Cinemax Kung Fu, you can imagine. Yes. You know the old slogan, of course, <laughs> it's not porn, it's HBO. Yeah. Oh. yeah. This is yeah. HBO then. <laughs> oh no, it's Cinemax. The, all the Kung Fu stuff, all the action is awesome. The action is awesome, the storyline's really good, and then it's just got all this other side of it, so it's great. Did you ever see the promo this person made up about uh, people going, uh, no, Mom, uh, I got I got the, uh, at this show on on um, Cinemax. I mean on HBO, and she, the mother goes, "Is it uh, is it porn?" No, it's HBO, and the whole thing is it's not porn. It's HBO, but it's like all this hardcore sex that's going on, and yeah. you know. By, by the way, Brian, season two they stopped that. Someone must Sorry. have said something. Huh? <laughs> oh, season um... se season two, there's a lot more shading. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Sorry to disappoint. I got to make a decision. I guess what I've learned here is watch episode one. <laughs> At least that'll get you hooked for the first season. Then that'll get you hooked after you see the first one. Yeah. So, Mike, hey. how's everything up there in Canada? Is it uh, how? Uh, this is. Oh fun. no, we're doing we're doing real good. We're just wondering what the hell's going on down in your nation's. Well, capital. that's what I was going to ask. What? How? What's your take up there? How are they reporting it? Um, you know, it's it's. My question is, what were these people's end game? Like, what was their outcome? They say to overthrow the government, but what did that look like? Like, was the guy with the big headdress, was that going to be the new leader? What were they, what were they Trump trying would be to the new leader. Replace, would still be leader. They're going to they're gonna replace him on the Buffalo Nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yep. we're going to every state government next week during the inauguration. Yeah, they're, they're end game. They thought they were going to be able to catch the senators and Pence and and harm them. Yes, they had they had built a gallows. They had they had, they had zip ties. Things. Yeah, they were they were ready to to do some far more damage. If you saw the video of the the guard that led them away from the Senate, where the doors were still not locked. Yes, there's an American hero. There's a yes. guy. Who, is, yes, he should be getting the medal, not well, Jim Jordan. Yeah, the, guy, the yeah. What I love yeah, about it is their stupidity. Down the wrong he keeps path, running up the, the stairs, and every now and then he turn around and kind of push one of them, and then he runs some more. And he, I think he knew where he was running. Oh, no, he did. And finally, he gets to this place, and all these other cops suddenly are there, and they're going, "Whoa!" 
You know, he he, that he was said that's what he was doing. Yeah. And they were stupid yeah. enough to follow. They were stupid enough to follow Trump. They'll follow him. Yeah, they were yeah. stupid enough to take pictures of themselves and go on TV. This one guy went on TV together. We're sitting in Pelosi's office with his feet yeah. up on the desk. Later yeah. on, we took a video of him. They interviewed him. He said, oh, yeah, I was in Pelosi's office, and look what I've got. And it was some kind of yeah. document from her desk. So here he's saying, not only did I break and enter, but I stole. And roll. And here's my face. And they arrested him. They arrested him. Yeah. And then all their mug shots, they all have their beard shaved like that's going to make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that they and some of, idiots. Some of them peed in the offices. Their stories yeah, of other pooped in the hall. When they arrested, when they yeah, when they arrested the that one guy, did they say, uh, "For the picture, could you remove the horns, please?" Yeah, you're not the grand booba. <laughs> That's good that they don't wear masks. Now we can, <laughs> there they are. Yeah. yeah. Well. You Did know. you hear that the uh, Pentagon, when the police, the Capitol Police Chief called the Pentagon for, you know, National Guard stuff, and they said they didn't, they didn't like the visuals of National Guard surrounding the Capitol. Wow. Yeah, except they surrounded the Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Memorial. Yeah, they had no the problem doing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one other response from uh, some of my Canadian buddies up here that we were talking about the other day. We we're having this conversation saying, I hope that um, what has happened here, and I hope that Trump, with the Senate and the House and the presidency all being in the same uh, party now for the first time in I don't know how long, right. I hope that the first 90 days don't get marred with the idea of um, slowing this down and letting Trump be the sideshow. I hope they can actually go and not, uh, they can avoid this stuff. Yeah. But did you hear what he's doing when he leaves? He's going on a U.S. tour, to, starting at the wall, and then he's going to different places. To show places you how stupid Trump were. really is, he's doing a victory lap. Yes. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Supposedly, sad. The, ang the angriest. So sad. Supposedly, the angriest he's been over all this is them pulling out of the PGA. Pull the PGA. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling out of Trump. You know, golf and then I want him there in Mar-a-Lago because that's not a permanent resident place. <laughs> By the way, Rick, are you the one that said that you uh, that you talked to your uh, uh, in, your uh, stockbroker? Yeah, he yeah. said that the militia is going to be called in this weekend. Mm. <laughs> he had to clean up the mess the other guys made. Mm -hmm. was no, he take over the government. Was that incentive for you to invest in anything? <laughs> you know? I just said, I invest alone. I don't believe you. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Well, you know, mm. it's just serious. But you be know, violent. army generals are crazy. You know. Well, uh, I don't think they side with Trump. Yeah, no, I don't think they're. No. Serious. I think I think that I think that the military is rather waiting for him to ask them to do something crazy, and they're going to refuse to do it. Yes, but at the Pentagon, he replaced all those people with his people. So I don't know. Yeah, but those those people can say whatever they want the generals won't take an illegal order it doesn't I would like to, hope to, so. to have a true military coup you have to have people in charge who are respected by the military to follow the order yes right. yeah. michael flynn is no longer there thank the lord thank the lord, <laughs> <laughs> thank the lord. Well, we have three women here what do they think about all of this uh you know i mean uh, <laughs> Mandy, I guess you didn't have to explain anything to young children because your kids are no. Now. And I and honestly, I haven't even talked to my daughters about it. Um, my older one, I'm sure, was really upset about it. I'm gonna imagine she's a little more into politics than the younger one. Yeah. But I she was the only. I texted her yesterday because I got snow in Texas. So we were just talking about snow. She sent me a picture of her snowman. I tried to avoid the subject because I just figured it'd be upsetting to her. Yeah. And right. You know, um, I just, I can't, I can't believe that the one or the women, the people that died, the, the terrorists that died were both women. Yeah. Wait a minute, there was another. Women just one kind was shot of. shot by a Capitol Police. Yeah. The one and was there trampled. Were two other ones that And died. the other one was yeah. trampled. Yeah. I didn't know about the one that was trampled. Yeah. Neither did I. But you said she's the one that had the don't tread on me flag. She's from <laughs> Kennesaw. She's from Kennesaw, Georgia. Oh, boy. Oh. And now yeah. they found 
footage of that Capitol policeman who was hit with the fire extinguisher oh. being hit with yeah. the fire extinguisher. The one yeah. who died. What happened, to the, what happened to the Blue Lives Matter crowd? They're not even yeah, saying anything. Yeah, you're right. But well, blue lives only matter if they're hurting people mm -hmm. that, you know, don't have white skin. I know. It's well, yeah. well the blue wait a minute, blue lives matter, you know, it's the Capitol Police. They're a different yeah. they're a different breed, actually. It's more of a sky blue. Huh? More of a sky, <laughs> sky blue. But it, yeah, not you indigo. Know, I, if you said to a cop, are they police? Say you go, not really. No, they're just they're the Capitol security guards. Yeah. You know, and that's really what they were. But they were underprotected. I mean, they were the other lady, the lady that was shot, that was climbing through the window. She was not only military, but apparently she was military police. Oh, so really? she, she was just a dumbass. I was <laughs> <You're> a protester. <laughs> she should have I mean, known better. Right. Yeah, exactly. So they, they thought because of what the president said, he was coming with them, and as if he had opened the path, they were going to be fine. Right. There. Yeah, they're you're, the White House. And, he did and in his it. mind, the military loves him, the guards love him, the police love him. They'll be on his side and let it happen. But you know, yeah, he delusion to, to the Capitol. Oh, let me get back to the um, White House. Couldn't he be the most hated man in America right now, though? Because not only do we hate him, but the protesters should hate him too because he threw yeah. them under the bus after it was all. And GOP backers the financial backers are cutting back now mm -hmm. lots of corporations yeah yeah yeah, yeah they're, they're pulling uh, contributions to any of those senators that uh were, were going to protest the vote i love how yeah. parlor how parlor uh, and i don't know if this is a, actually a political discussion we're having here because it's too lighthearted to be a political discussion mm -hmm. um parlor uh, was griping about the fact that, you know, that, oh, our, our, our uh, uh, civil rights, our freedom of speech is being uh, taken, you know, ruined because they took us down. They, they are there, they are carry, they, they pay uh, Amazon Web Services and Apple Web Services. And they took them off. To, to carry their, uh, it's not like you, hi you, you hire them to carry you. It's a, yeah, I, but I, Alex, I, other my, right my, my, uh, my Roku site is but other run right through Amazon Web gonna, Services. I'm up. Huh? These are the, these are the other same. right wing platforms are going to evolve. Yeah, but they've got to have somewhere to get their stuff up. You need a server, you need a, a yeah. bunch of servers. And if they don't have uh, Amazon Web Services or Apple, that's pretty much the business. Well, there's Google. But no, well, Google. These uh, people Google, no, Google, about freedom of speech minute. about the parlor. Google going dropped down. them too. Google really? dropped them too? Yeah. yeah. These, yeah. Are, the, these yeah. are the same people who support a bakery saying, I don't have to bake a cake for a gay wedding. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And that, and that's their freedom. They don't have to bake a cake for whoever they don't want to. But Amazon has to host them. Right. Has to host them? <laughs> no, that's, that's what, that's what they're, they're saying. saying. I don't think I don't think they have to host anything they don't want. No, they don't. Exactly. This they don't. idea that you have First Amendment rights and that corporations have to get it's it's Congress isn't allowed to infringe on your right, right. to free speech, not businesses. Yeah. It's been ruled multiple times. It, it, these yeah. people that say that they're constitutionalist originalists, it, it's easier to say that if you've never read it. Well, yeah. if I ban somebody on this show, okay, yes, I have the right to do that. Of course, it's my show. <laughs> Your show. <laughs> it's my show. I mean, I usually and, don't. And are we going to have years of hearings like Benghazi? You know, about this incident? <laughs> hey, more people died. Yeah. More people died than Benghazi. You're right. How I think it was that Representative Daryl Issa. He was on Fox, like, you know, saying this is being overblown. This is yeah. over overkill. Oh, like yeah. really, you're the one that had 17 hearings about Benghazi. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's like comparing it there to... for 11 hours testifying. Yeah, you're the guys that were worried about any number of different people being insurgents, like socialism and so on, and yet who turned out to be the insurgent? Yep. Yeah. A bunch of right wing assholes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. With uh, with Trump getting um, banned from Twitter, though, isn't just this the the the, the electronic version? of somebody who goes into a crowded theater and, and, and shouts yeah. fire. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and what they don't want to be responsible thing? for is being a mouthpiece for another insurgency. Mm -hmm. 
and and uh, since because they, they will get sued, Amazon would get sued yeah. by yeah. someone if they permitted it on their servers. Exactly. Well, they have a certain kind of protection, and it was a protection that uh, Trump wanted to lift. Yeah, three thirty, uh, whatever it's called, yeah. or the yeah. liability. It's kind of like uh, they had a thing with uh, the phone company and so on where they are common carriers and they get common carrier status. So let's say I make a call to you, Rick, and I say we should go down to Washington and foment a revolution, all right? And let's say we then do. They can't go after the phone company for that phone call because it's, it's a common carrier and they don't have to be responsible what people do with it, all right? And I think uh, Twitter is protected somewhat that way. So is Facebook and YouTube. But uh, still, they have to deal with the public as a whole, and they don't want to be known as the facilitators of something. You know, so they have every right to protect their business. So if I if I write a threatening letter with a pen, they can't sue the pen company. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking for a friend. Well, I know I didn't, I didn't think about Someone that. Someone you know. Uh, uh, let me yeah, let me check yeah. into that, and I'll Not get me. back to you. Okay. Yeah, have your people call my people. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, you know it's a, you it's, know it's like the nine eleven terrorists. If they were on the Amazon platform, theoretically, couldn't somebody sue Amazon? For for allowing them to use their platform. Well, that's where they bought the box cutters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, do you, it's it's crazy the, the way it works. But yeah, the, the, if if Amazon knows, or I should say if Twitter knows, knowing they are using their platform openly and they do nothing about it, mm -hmm. their, their failure to report is probably at, at question. But I'm not a lawyer, so I, you know, I'm, Guess no, Rudy, Rudy that, Giuliani apparently is. <laughs> well, Rudy Giuliani, according to the news today, they're they're, they're, they're going to try to disbar him in New York. Yeah, yeah. New York. yeah it surprises me because he's such a great lawyer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least he told me to bar him. Like, like he'll ever have another job. Does that well, you mean, but he that and Alan Dershowitz are going to be president, the, and I need a lawyer to go to the Supreme Court now. Lawyers, it's not going to be Rudy know. Giuliani. It's going to have to be Ted Cruz. <laughs> no, Trump gets impeached. It's going to be Alan Dershowitz and Rudy Giuliani will be their advocate, his advocate. With the die coming mm -hmm. down the face. Charlie and, and Scott are both in Texas. Yeah. What is yeah. Texas saying about Ted Cruz these days? They're saying he should resign. In, Houston, in your circle they, or his circles? The Houston newspaper. No, every newspaper in Texas is called for his resignation. Oh, good. He won't do it. And has he said anything? Because I haven't seen him anywhere. No, nope, me either. He's like, oh, I think he said, it. not my fault. Right. He said it. <laughs> but he was a facilitator. I have a nice yes. beard. And he still is, because after they had the um, the electoral process over, he still stood his ground on that. You yeah. don't have to talk so loud. I can hear you in the other room. <laughs> 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 that, that's our know, I'm running to be president. Yes, Ted. Have a nice time. Yeah, right. And that Noah Hawley, what a piece of work. He oh, had. my God. Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Joshua. Oh, Joshua. Joshua. Excuse me, Joshua. John. Hawley. Why did I call him Noah? Oh, I, Noah Hawley is the guy that produced mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Fargo on TV. <laughs> and created it. I always mix them up. Why? I don't know. Um, but uh, it's been quite a week. I mean, well, oh Josh Foley too. I'm going to be president. Yeah, okay, give me a call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you know what? What happens is the reason you can have a um, impeachment, and people go, "Well, don't we have to do it before he's no longer president?" No, you can impeach him, and then you can try him after the fact. You can try him months from now in the Senate. Okay. The idea is you prevent him from ever being able to run for public office again. And, and take away $200,000 a year pension and blah, blah, yes, blah. And the health plan, which is health a very security. good health plan, better than anything we had. Service, service. service. And then the Secret Service protection. which Travel means, allowance. There's like a travel allowance, supposedly, too. Yeah. yeah. It's a million dollars a year or something. Yeah, like it's that. crazy. And we <laughs> pay for it. Yeah. 
I never okay. exceed nine hundred thousand in my travel expenses. <laughs> <laughs> so that was okay. So that was my question earlier, though. So Alex, say they go ahead and they try and impeach him. Isn't that screwing up their first ninety days of actually getting some shit yeah. done? Actually, uh, there's a mm -hmm. one of the main Democratic senators is just suggesting try him in the convict him in the House, then send it to the Senate after the first hundred days. After yeah. let yeah. Biden get rolling, let him do some legislation. Yeah, that's okay, but it, because there's no time limit on it. Once right. he's been impeached, nope. he's been indicted, and therefore the trial can take place at any time. And so. that'd be kind of a slap in the face, like he's not even high priority. Man, do you think um, uh, George is going to bring a suit against him? Is, is George going to what? Bring a suit against Trump for what he did? And which is the one that was the other thing, you know, yeah. that was already bad enough, and then literally the news was topped you know yeah, it's like yeah, things yeah. just keep getting worse and worse like exactly. i didn't think it get any worse than that him trying to commit he's basically committing election fraud on tape. exactly so do you think georgia will bring a suit against them they should they can. brian kemp should just do what he can even do it. Though, since he threw brian kemp under the bus you have to answer the phone really there. <laughs> was that your phone mandy it's again no. oh it's not mine Oh, that, Probably Alex's. It was Ed's phone. No, yeah, yeah. don't panic. It's uh, I took care of it. Yeah. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you never get this. I it was it was Mike. You, I bet he never gets this when he answers the phone. What? Says, Hello, and then the other person says, "Is Edward there?" No, he never gets that. <laughs> it was the call center in India to tell him that his Microsoft account has a problem. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Car repairs. Yeah, know. he wanted to talk to him about his warranty. Did yeah, I, warranty sign for a, yeah, yeah, I already got that one today. Just, did I sign a thing five years ago that said I didn't want to get calls? I did. I yeah. did. And, you watch. And, and and somehow I still get them. Yeah. You, know? you watch YouTube. Watch the phone scamming guys who go after the Indian call centers that, that hack That's their hilarious. computers, delete all their files. It's they're the greatest videos on YouTube. Really? Oh, they're they're brilliant. These guys, Kit Boda and this other one, they get the scammers on. They waste hundreds of hours of their time, delete the files off their computers, torment them. They they pretend to get the gift cards and then redeem them in front of the Indian call center spying on their computer instead of sending them the numbers. It's it's the greatest YouTube videos out there. If if you hate call scammers, you got to watch them. You'll get great we satisfaction. Check it out, Alex. Right. And does anyone have a car warranty? That's about to expire. I know. Ice T. Ice, Ice, Ice T's doing the. He's Ice doing the commercials for that. I gotta yeah. tell you, he's doing the commercials, and I'm saying he's so rich, he doesn't have a car over five it's years old. Been, exactly. It's been. It's been. Fifteen, sixteen. That's seventeen years since I last owned a car. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and wow, that long, huh? Seventeen years since I last owned a car. When they call me up, I start wasting their time. Yeah, and then when they hey. threw their whole pitch, I go. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I haven't owned a car in seventeen years. <laughs> yeah, as you know, Ben, I have a twenty-five-year-old car. I don't think I have a warranty on it that it's about to expire. <laughs> <laughs> they call me and I tell them I drive a Yoder, and they want to know what that is. I said, "Well, we're Amish. We don't have cars, electricity, or telephones." They go, well, "What are you talking on right now?" I don't know. <laughs> That's a nuts. I'm just shouting out the window. You should hear that. I've got on, on my YouTube channel a lot of recordings with those call scammers myself harassing yeah. them. They're quite fun. Yeah. Well, they, they when they call me, they're they're wasting their time because I have nothing but time to waste. <laughs> you have no they, time at all. You know, and the on, huh? Is it the online pharmacy? I keep getting them to look up my prescription for Damatol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Well, you know, I would watch a I would watch a YouTube channel, Alex. If you hit the record button, and you just messed around with uh, on speakerphone with with uh, some of these telemarketers, I'd watch that. Yeah, really. He does it all the time. You know, record it. Show, I got to tell you something. This show is very popular. Of all the shows I do, this thing gets the most people watching it. I put this thing up, and all of a sudden, I got several hundred people who watch the the rerun. Really? Yeah, it's That's amazing. Great. It's amazing. And what I think just because you, this is just the nicest bunch of people around. Just I think it's Marjorie. I, I, think yes. it's, I think they want to hear Ed. 
Yeah. They want to hear. They want to hear Jeff. No. Yeah, I talk a lot. Yes. <laughs> Jump right you in. Just hold it down a little bit, Jeff. That's right. You're just a tad. <laughs> you know. Um, uh, but it's great uh, having you all here, Jeff and Rick and Mike and Steve and Edward. Hi, Edward. That's right. <laughs> He needs to do a promo, Alex. Scott Boddicker, Charlie Wallace, Brian Neary, uh, Andrew Deutsch, uh, Mandy. I, I always get people writing saying, yay, Mandy's on. <laughs> yeah, they do. Like they a little fan do. club. They love yeah. it. a new dating app. <laughs> I've had a couple of Facebook and, friends. And Marjorie, what can I say, say except the same people write me and go, you married her? Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kathleen, always good to see you. You know, one of my oldest friends. Yeah. Well, Shecky's my oldest friend. Yes. Uh, well, I always say Steve Weiner. Steve Weiner, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I don't see uh, talk to him as much as I talk to you. So. No, and I've asked him to sign on, but he doesn't. But that's his. But a lot of my, my real old friends are dead, so you know. You better, you better stay healthy, Rick. Please. Well, we'll see. I'll have nobody to talk to. <laughs> you got plans. Yeah. Uh, got thank, plans. You, thank you very much, Kathleen, for joining us. We love having Welcome. you. It's lovely. We also have three women on the panel tonight. Uh, and, and, and of course, uh, Leonard LaFrisco, Leo, whatever. Do they call you Leo? Len. Len, okay. Len, thanks for being with us. All of you, uh, have a good week, and hopefully we'll all do this again uh, next week, oh, okay? Favorite hour of the week, Alex. It's my favorite yeah, hour fun. of the week, too, believe it or not. I have a reminder set on my phone for it. Okay. 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 See you all later. Out of office, yeah. And if you see her, tell her I love her. There she is. I don't have to see you all. See her. He loves you. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, that's, uh, that's bye.